this is Ali Aka. Today uh, we're going to do a routine on flexibility and this is a very important routine I think that you should incorporate in your um, uh, during the week either in between your workouts at the end of the workout or even if you're not doing a workout just incorporate it sometime in the middle of the week uh, at least twice a week I would say. Um, the important thing about uh, you know working on your flexibility is that it, it um, um, builds greater resilience in your joints and your muscles so you are less prone to injury especially for people who are uh, doing a lot of uh, weight training or doing a lot of housework they tend to injure their back or some important muscle and then it takes about a week 10 days for that muscle soreness to go so this would actually release that plus if you're really tired the muscle soreness in one particular part either it's your shoulders or your hamstrings you know stress gets into all sorts of areas that would help that soreness to go away so overall, it brings um, great mobility into your, uh, you know, movements, uh, your range of motion would increase as well. And this is very simple. We have um, uh, basically three levels into built into this flexibility routine. You can do any one of them. And uh, the important thing is that just respect your body and go as you feel necessary. So let's get into it. towards the left side so this is really stretching out the side muscles as well as you know our spine towards the side and come back bend your knees here as you bring your arms in front and round your back keep your arms straight and release and now just move up with your feet slightly hip distance apart and just side to side. So this is very good to twist our spine from left to right. It has the capacity to twist and we rarely use these muscles especially when we're sitting down and we have long hours on a chair or a computer or even in front of television. So this is very nice and you can do this anywhere. Sometimes I take a handbag and I swing it around in a shop. So just swing this a few times and release. Now let's get your feet slightly wider than your hips and you're going to bend the right leg, interlace your fingers and hook your hands onto your right thigh and just press your weight, the upper body weight into your right thigh as you stretch out the left leg. Keep your foot implanted really well. And now shift the weight to the left side. So you can continue with this stretch. Try not to bounce yourself here. A lot of people tend to bounce. So keep your weight constant from right to left. If you think you can go deeper, then just stay here and take the left hand onto the floor, which is closer to the right foot. And from here, you can lift and go on to your left side and take your right hand closer to your left foot and stretch out the leg a little bit more and come back to the right side. And once you're here, either stay here on this level, the second level, or the third level is to bring both hands onto the floor and stretch out your left leg while you place the entire right foot onto the floor and once you've done that interlace your fingers and stretch out your arms so your hips are off the ground and do not place them on the ground anyway so bring your hands onto the floor and lift yourself back up shift your weight towards the left side either stay here or at the second level with the arm or third level which is both hands and now lift your 
left foot up from the floor and plant sorry your right foot up and plant your left foot onto the floor and stretch out your arms so keeping a very nice deep stretch here it's all the way into your back your legs your pelvic area and come back up and once you're here just bring your hands in the middle plant both hands onto the floor keep your hips square and lift your right arm up so twist your upper body while your legs are straight and then lower you're going to lift your left arm out towards the sky your left twist and bring that on the floor take both hands and walk in between your feet and walk as far as you can go while you just let your head hang so let the head hang loose bend your knees here bring your hands onto your thighs so that you have some place to put your weight and roll back up inhale up and exhale another great thing is to stretch out the front of the leg as well as the back so we're going to move into a lunge so let's move our feet onto one direction bend the front leg and lift the back foot off the floor just keep the toes on the floor and just reach out reach out with your hands the important thing is to keep your fingers and your toes in line from here place your back knee on the floor relax the foot push your hip forward do not stay here just push the hips forward and look in front don't hang your head down and just look forward and keep the spine intact the integrity of the spine intact from here lift the back leg and walk on to the other side again we're going to bend the front leg and then bend the knee of the back leg on the floor relax the foot don't keep the hip here you're going to make sure everything is in line and then push your hip forward and look in front take a few breaths again bring yourself up hands in the middle get your feet together head down and roll back up as you bend your knees one vertebra at a time and shoulders up take a nice deep inhale and exhale feel great for your flexibility so this was our basic routine just respect your body and see what you can do you don't have to do to the perfection of the first time and uh, just proceed with the uh, you know caution make sure the stretch is a stretch and not a painful stretch so if you are pushing yourself too much to the point that it's actually paining uh, the muscles that's not the right way to do it so just bring it to a lovely uh, stretch where the body feels good and the nerves are relaxed so anyway like this um, program if you feel that this was um, beneficial to you subscribe for further videos and go on and check uh, the website for different resources so it's www.adiaana.com you've written it down at the bottom so see you soon